Hi, my name is Jane Bornthwaite and I'm the Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Education. And part of my role is to engage parents about all aspects of their child's education. Today I'm here as a parent because I know how increasingly concerned parents are about what their kids are doing online with websites or apps. Parents want to know how to talk to their kids to see whether or not they're appropriate on the internet. I'm here with Jesse Miller, social media safety expert, and Teresa Campbell, the president of Safer Schools Together. Teresa was instrumental in implementing this government's erase bullying strategy, which includes a five-year training program for 15,000 educators and community partners across the province. A key component of the training program includes current information about social media, awareness, and safety. Many parents want to protect their children from online risks, and yet many of them feel overwhelmed with today's technology. We know intuitively that they're not completely aware of what our children are doing on the internet and through social media. What can we do to protect our children? Becoming a co-pilot with your child as they venture into the internet world um, is of utmost importance. And I think that if your child seems to be moving very quickly or you even rely on your child to set up technology for you, um, ask them questions about why as opposed to just fix this. And um, when it comes to navigating the content on the internet, have your children um, know that you, they can come and talk to you. And so whether they're Googling something and something inappropriate uh, appears on the screen or the content is there that would very much be of conversation, um, knowing that you can go and talk to your parents about whatever's on the screen is probably your best bet because um, if your kids are afraid to talk to you about um, what they've seen online or you're going to have that overreaction where you close the screen really quickly, um, having parents that are willing to listen and then coach through whatever is occurring online means that your child's talking. And for a lot of the kids we work with, um, we notice they're not talking to the people who can help. They're turning to the internet and saying a lot of things online that we're not hearing in the real world. I think most importantly, and just to add to Jesse's point, is keep those lines of communication open. Often if we don't let our kids know that we're available for them to talk to, they won't come and talk to us. So make sure we keep those lines of communication and ask them some questions every now and then. Ask them questions about their online behaviors. Are there things that they really enjoy about being online and what are some of the challenges that they see about being online? And our kids typically will give us the right answer. What are the top things that parents need to be aware of when it comes to their kids using the technology and applications that are available today? I would say the, the first top thing is, is don't expect them to be experts. Um, and, and as it comes down to utilizing technology, um, try your best to learn more about what your child's trying to tell you. Um, if your child's telling you, oh, it's okay, everybody's on this website, it's fine, I've got privacy settings, um, dive into the internet to yourself to see where other parents have had struggles with a website because um, it may just be that the website's popular here in Canada or British Columbia um, recently, as opposed to somewhere else where everybody's been on it for a year and uh, there's already been a number of incidents. Um, as it comes down to staying ahead of the children, you know, you don't necessarily have to stay ahead of the trend, just uh, try your best to stay in parallel. Encourage to, for them to continue to engage in respectful behaviors online as you would expect them to engage in behaviors here in the real world, same thing on their online world as well. What are some of the warning signs that parents should look out for in their kids if they're worried about cyberbullying or other behaviors happening online? You know, if you have a child who's quite active and, and doing a number of things and you start to see that those things that usually bring happiness and contentment to them are now becoming less of a priority as opposed to checking devices and, and looking at content, um, and then they're shielding you away from it, um, that's, that's a huge red flag, and especially with the work that I see. Um, we see kids who are reluctant to show parents uh, text messages, and if their parents even reach for the phone, it's, it's almost a war of, of uh, trying to grab a device first. Any shifts in your child's behavioral baseline, and parents, you know your children the best. So if you see any changes in their use of their cellular devices or just behavioral changes within the home, uh, mood changes, it's a good time to talk to your child about what might be occurring. I think this also, once again, reemphasizes the importance of engaging in conversations with our kids when we're providing these devices and putting it in their hands around what, what are our expectations from our kids when they, when they do approach or are dealing with anything, nature of conflict uh, within their devices. We want them to come and talk to us. We don't want them to fear us taking the de devices away from them forever. So let's engage in those conversations. Let's make sure that they know we want them coming to us 
And if you do notice those behavioral baselines, know that there's a number of people within our school settings that are there to provide support for your child. Thanks, Jesse and Teresa. Where can parents go to learn more about what we've talked about today? Every school and province has a number of resources on their website uh, to research that as much as you can, stay in touch with your parent advisory councils and see what's available to, to, to parents online. Um, and then uh, go deeper, you know, search, uh, search a number of avenues online that are available through the province and through uh, federal and municipal police. And of course there's a whole wealth of information for our parents here in British Columbia on the EraseBullying.ca website. It's a website that we're keeping current, constantly updating, so please take some time to visit the EraseBullying.ca website. Thank you.